Hey everyone, it's Alex, and today I'm here with a book review for Jim and Dixie by Sarah Zarr. This is a young adult contemporary novel about two sisters who live in a bad home situation. They're pretty much in a very neglectful home situation, I think is the best way to put it. Their father abandoned them years and years before, and their mother doesn't provide very well, and there's often not food in the house. They have to work to get their own things, and they're about, I think, 15 and 17 each. They've grown apart over the years, but in this book they manage to find a bag of money together shortly after their father comes back into their lives, and they go on the run together. I gave this book three stars, and I thought about not reviewing it because a lot of my negative feelings towards this book are just like, I wasn't a fan of the overall storyline. But I did think it was really well done, and I did want to review it because I do think this is- Sarah Zarr is kind of an underrated author in general, but I haven't heard anyone talk about this book in particular, and I do think it's a really wonderful book if you don't- if you like the storyline, if the storyline sounds good to you. I do think it's a wonderful book and it deserves to be talked about. So my thoughts are kind of negative. Um, it, pretty much a lot of this book takes place with them on the run with a bag of money that contains thousands and thousands of dollars. And because of that, there's a lot of stress and anxiety over like, are they going to lose the money? Is the money going to get stolen? Like, are they going to spend it all on wasteful things and then have to return home and like with nothing? And that really like stoked my anxiety a lot. It rubbed my anxiety the wrong way and it made me- it made this reading this book a really unpleasant experience because I was so stressed and not in like the fun stressed way but just like this situation made me actively uncomfortable and it made me not want to read the book. But you know, that's my own fault for not reading the description. <laughs> um, I just picked this up because it was a Sarazar book. I've read Sarazar before and I really love her, but I think just the storyline of this was very clearly not for me. But it had a lot of really other wonderful elements that I enjoyed that I wanted to talk about. The first is the setting. Sarazar is amazing with setting. She writes a lot of books set in either Utah or San Francisco, and it just- it's so vivid and it's so graphic and real. And I'm not someone who normally takes notice of that in books because it's like, okay, the setting's well done, whatever. But Sarah Zard just is superb when it comes to writing the setting of these books, writing these characters who live in the city and the city is very much a part of their lives. And I think that comes from her living in San Francisco like she does or Utah or wherever the books are set. Like she takes so much from like the real world and the real city and makes it a part of her book. And it's not just this book where I noticed that, but like pretty much everything she's written, her settings are just always so incredible. And another thing I really liked was the characters. I think Jim, who was the narrator, was a really wonderful character. Like she's quiet and she's different and she knows she's different and she doesn't necessarily approach situations the way an average person would. She's very like on the outside of life. And I think a lot of that comes from her home situation. But the relationship she had with her counselor, her counselor at school, was so wonderfully done and so wonderfully crafted. And I think there were a lot of interesting dynamics at play there, like with her downplaying her home situation and her guidance counselor not helping the way he should. And it wasn't a negative relationship. It was a very positive relationship throughout the book. But I felt the ending of that relationship, or not not the end, not when the relationship ended, but at the resolution of the book, at the climax, her relationship with her guidance counselor and where that went was incredibly complex and interesting and just like such a well done relationship and I enjoyed that. I also think the relationship between the two sisters was such an interesting dynamic because you have this older sister who grew up protecting and raising the younger one and now that they're both not adults, they're both teenagers, the way they both reflect on their situation and the way they both deal with their situation is incredibly different and I think that was also a really well done aspect. It was just there was so much of this book that was so good and so beautifully done and just like so well crafted that outside of the very uncomfortable premise of them having a bunch of money and going around, I, I really really loved it. And I think despite this clearly not being the book for me. I think it was such a worthwhile read and I'm really glad that I picked it up because the beginning and the end of the book, the end especially, was just like a beautiful ending to the story and I think 
it was one of the more well-crafted stories that I've read in a long time, especially when it comes to YA contemporary. I just, I adored it. I love Sarah Zar, and I think, I think this book was a really wonderful book if it sounds like it might be your kind of thing. If you don't mind that money plotline, which I, I very clearly minded, and like, I wouldn't have picked up a book like that had I read the back synopsis, but I didn't read a single word about this book before I picked it up, and I'm kind of glad because I wouldn't have read it if I hadn't, and even though it was only a three star for me, even though there was a lot about it that made it kind of unpleasant, I, I really am glad that I read it, and I would highly recommend it if it sounds like it's something that might be for you, because I think Sarah Zar is a wonderful writer, and I think I, I would highly, highly recommend picking this one up. Let me know down below if you've read Gem and Dixie and what you thought of it if you have, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all again soon.